Danger Dolan. From your favorite pair of blue jeans to playground tag, we count 10 crazy things that have been banned around the world. Number 10. Puns are a play on words, expressions with double meanings. They may inspire groans, but are ultimately harmless. Puns commonly form the basis of dad jokes, which everyone loves or loves to hate. Enter the Chinese government, AKA the fun police. In 2014, the Chinese government introduced a ban on wordplay, specifically extending to all forms of media and advertising. Apparently, this measure was taken to protect the sanctity of language and prevent cultural and linguistic chaos. Imagine if said chaos was allowed to ensue. The streets would be plunged into permanent darkness, building interiors would be charred and skeletal, and no one, no one would be able to understand one another because the only things leaving their mouths would be hilarious puns. Chinese language is particularly rife with puns because there's so many homophones, which are words that sound the same but have different meanings. Hysteria aside, critics have reasoned that the government's move is more likely aimed at people who use puns and double entendres to get around censorship laws. So if you use puns for good instead of evil, you should be okay. Number 9. Banned Movies The world is full of different cultures, but nothing is more universally loved than a trip to the movies. Unfortunately, different countries have wildly different sensitivities. One nation's idea of humor can fail to translate and offense can be taken where none was intended. For instance, Scandinavia banned E.T. because they felt it would encourage their children to disobey adults. Woody Allen's Blue Jasmine was banned in India because it contained a single scene of a man smoking. Indonesia banned Schindler's List, a famous Holocaust film, for being too sympathetic to the Jewish cause while Burma banned The Simpsons movie for its depiction of yellow skin. Monty Python's The Life of Brian was banned in Norway for blasphemy, and the South Park movie was banned in virtually all of Asia and the Middle East. 2012, the CGI disaster film that also had some real-life human actors in there somewhere, was banned in North Korea for having the audacity to take place during the same year as former leader Kim Il-sung's sanitary anniversary. North Korean officials didn't want tragedy to interfere with their celebrations. I guess it's lucky the world didn't actually end then, huh? and any citizen caught with bootlegs of the movie were arrested. Finally, a mention must go to Claire Dane, star of Homeland. Dane shot a film in Molina. During a later interview, she described the city as ghastly and weird, then went on to say it smelled of cockroaches, had rats all over, and was a giant toilet full of crazy people. The Filipino government subsequently declared her a persona non grata and banned her films from being shown in the city. Number 8. Blue Jeans During the Cold War, jeans were highly sought after in Eastern European countries and the USSR. Today, jeans, specifically the blue ones, remain a symbol of democracy and capitalism and are perceived as a threat to totalitarianism, especially in North Korea. North Korea generally does its own thing and is not all that interested in global politics or relations. In fact, the country is so suspicious of the outside world that it's nicknamed the Hermit State. North Korea's government is known to oppose liberalism and blue jeans, which were famously rocked by Bruce Springsteen on the cover of Born in the USA. Blue jeans seem to represent the nation's ideological differences. Consequentially, jeans are completely banned in North Korea. However, the capital Pyongyang has defied this stance, proving they aren't completely anti-gene. A deal was recently struck with a Swedish company to produce and export designer jeans. The jeans would cost an average citizen two years worth of their wages, and they only come in black, because blue denim is still considered a symbol of American imperialism. Baby steps, guys. Number 7. Emo Culture In 2008, Russia faced all sorts of outside threats. International reporters, Chechenian rebels, and emo bands like My Chemical Romance. These bands were blamed for the degradation of youth culture because they introduced the apathetic emo culture into Russian society. In the face of a rising teen suicide rate, the Russian government dubbed the music and fashion movement as a threat to national stability. Russia had figurative black eyeliner running down its cheek, perceiving that the country's very future was at stake. Measures were taken to regulate all things emo which included banning relevant websites and preventing citizens from wearing emo fashion in schools or government buildings. Number 6. Bear Wrestling 
In the 19th century, bear wrestling was a popular French pastime that quickly made its way to the United States. But it's not some relic of the past, as cases of bear wrestling have been reported as recently as the 2000s. The sport has been banned by the governments of over 20 US states, meaning that any continuing activity will have, by now, been forced underground. Fans of this outlandish banned sport shouldn't despair. There are alternatives. For instance, you can always take on a bear in a round of professional hot dog eating. Hot dog eating champion Takiru Kobayashi did this in 2003. Seriously. Number 5. Frowning. If you're planning to visit Milan anytime soon, make sure to pack your best smile. The Italian city has imposed a ban on frowning. It's now a legal requirement to smile at all times. Sad sacks who dare to disobey this rule are warned that they will face serious fines. Now to put a smile on your face. Number 4. Dancing. In 1948, Japan passed a law that banned dancing at public venues. Citizens were only permitted to dance until midnight at properly licensed clubs. This ban was originally introduced as a means to cut out prostitution, which was linked to dancing establishments. In recent years, police raids have actually been enforced to break up illegal dancing and no dancing signs have been posted in establishments across the country. This no dancing law has put a serious damper on the country's otherwise thriving electronic music industry. Businesses suffered as club owners not wanting to be charged with facilitating any of that hip-shaking nonsense were pressured into removing dance floors altogether. In 2014, yes, that recently, the Japanese government has finally reneged lifting this ridiculous ban. It's believed that the forthcoming 2020 Tokyo Olympics played a large part in this decision. A new category of all-night dance clubs will now be introduced. However, there is a small caveat. The lighting in these venues must be brighter than 10 lux, which is the amount of light produced by 10 candles from a distance of 3 feet away. Supposedly, this will discourage sketchy behavior. Oh, Japan. Number 3. Schoolyard Fun Schools have often been at the forefront of crazy bands, with overprotective adults seeking to protect kids from all the perceived evils out there. Unfortunately, protection measures have gotten increasingly out of hand as schooling environments and society at large succumbs to political correctness. Underestimating young people and dictating what's appropriate for them usually has disastrous results, but no one seems to have picked up on this yet. For example, because students were getting too hurt at recess, uh, Port Washington Middle School has banned all ball games and rough play. This prohibits kids from playing football, soccer, baseball, lacrosse, or rough tag. Cartwheels are only permitted if supervised by a coach. At this stage, cloud watching is okay, but stay tuned for further developments. A private school in London has banned having best friends. The headmaster says that the concept is possessive and ostracizes those who aren't included. I wonder what his take on marriage is. I'm sure many feel ostracized that Megan Fox has excluded them from her union. A preschool has urged parents to ban their kids from watching superhero movies. Apparently, superhero stories invoke violence and instill questionable morals. So, wait, haven't they been teaching us bravery and how to stand up for what's right? Finally, several American schools have banned hugging and hand-holding. Suspensions have already been issued over these offenses. In fact, Tennessee State Senate recently passed a bill naming hand-holding as a gateway sexual activity. Parents, don't let your kids get in on any of this sweet hand-holding action. Mm, yeah. You know what, it actually sounds kind of bad when I say it. Number 2. Western Hairstyles In a ridiculous bid sure to further cultural divide, Iran has banned what it defines as Western Hairstyles. To prevent exposure to depraved American and European culture, the Iranian government has issued a list of government-approved hairstyles. Banned Western styles include overly spiked or gelled hair, the ponytail, and the always classy mullet. Barbers who fail to comply could be shut down or fined. Look, this is just absurd. Without the mullet, how's anyone gonna recognize the area's lower class scumbags? Number one, ketchup. France is one of the food capitals of the world, and the French are renowned connoisseurs. Unfortunately, they've decided that the all-American ketchup doesn't fit into their nation's grand culinary design. The beloved condiment has been banned from all school and college cafeterias throughout France in an effort to minimize student sugar consumption and protect the traditional Gallic cuisine. Kids are also not permitted to bring in ketchup from home, as the French believe it drowns out other foods' flavors. However, one exception has been made. Ketchup is permitted on french fries. If you'd like to read about 5 bonus dumb banned things, then visit the Danger Dolan website.
There you'll find the written version of this script and a bunch of other awesome stuff. You'll find the links for it down below. And if you liked my commentary here today and appreciate a good PC game now and again, check out my YouTube channel. I play lots of RTS games and pretty much anything that comes out on PC. Again, you'll find a link for it down below. This is Hellbent for Danger Dolan saying thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.